Hi, um, I'm here at Bio Europe Spring um, with Carlos Boisa. He's the CEO of Horizon, um, and it's an, epigenetic, it's an epigenetics company that's one of the few in Europe. Um, so, Carlos, what exactly do you do? Hi, Evelyn. Glad to be here. So we are an epigenetic company. We are uh, actually one of the global leaders on, on, on this space. We develop uh, first-in-class epigenetic therapies for um, strong and medical, uh, and med uh, medical needs, um, particularly in the field of oncology and neurodegenerative disorders. And we do so with a strong specializ specialization and strong focus on um, histone demethylase inhibitors. I see. Um, so why are there so few epigenetics companies in Europe? Well, actually, it's a, it's a young field. So there are a few epigenetic companies everywhere, in the US and in, the, and, and in Europe as well. And uh, all the field is, is, is kind of young. So we have seen very recently that the second generation of epigenetic modulators could be drug, druggable in a selective manner, um, overcoming um, the problems that the first generation, the uh, all uh, fashion is that inhibitors uh -huh. have gone through in terms of medicinal chemistry. So this has opened a number of opportunities to, to target some diseases um, with selective compounds. Mm -hmm. And um, we are seeing now that this is opening a, a door for, for a personalized approach uh, on one hand. And on, on the other hand, it's giving us information about the biology of some diseases, which has um, an underlying epigenetic component. I see. Um, so, but you found that small molecules are more effective than antibodies for your line of work? Well, in epigenetics, uh, we believe that the small molecules are going probably to be more, uh, more adequate. Um, uh, certainly, most of the companies uh, um, uh, focused right now on the epigenetic space are, are approaching this by a, a small molecule approach, yes, indeed. Okay. I see. So you presented results at ASH, I believe, in last December. Uh, what were they? Okay, so yeah, the, uh, we are working on uh, LSD1, which is license-specific demethylase 1, was the first uh, histone demethylase characterized. We know now that uh, LSD1 is key for the hematopoietic differentiation in the normal progenitors, and we also know that in some cancers, particularly in some le leukemias, mm -hmm. LSD1 is responsible for the differentiation blockade that happened on those leukemias. So we were the first company ever presenting uh, um, uh, clinical results with an LSD1 inhibitor, and we were very satisfied, very happy, because it was a phase 1 QA. We were um, basically showing that our inhibitor, which has a covalent binder inhibitor, was um, safe, well tolerated, and um, we were identifying a, a number of uh, very useful PD biomarkers that allow to, to monitor uh, early response in patients. And also, particularly, we saw that from the point of view of uh, um, um, biological proof of concept, um, our drug was able to provoke differentiation of the cancer cells, and this differentiation was accompanied by also by a number of clinical preliminary response. So we saw a number of partial bone marrow responses. So in the overall, um, it was very satisfactory because it's really opening the door uh, for this kind of treatment um, to enter in the combo uh, in the combo schemes for leukemic patients. I see. Okay, that's really good results. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so my last question is just about biotech in Spain because it's not one of the major hubs in Europe, or at least it's not seen to be. But your results uh, might prove that wrong. Um, could you comment on that? Well, I think that the biotech in Spain has really uh, progressed impressively in the last year. We see now a number of uh, biotech with more mature uh, pipelines. We were signing a deal back in 2014 with Hoffman La Roche, uh, partnering uh, our first LSD1 inhibitor, ORI 1001. And um, that was making a, a, a sort of uh, um, difference for the Spanish sector because uh, it was, it was. Uh, I mean, it was clear that we, as biotech companies in Spain, we were we were able to 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 uh, ink world class deals like any other company in in, in the UK or in in Germany or in France. So we see now other um, very interesting companies um, that have already uh, signed already interesting deals with uh, um, big farmers. And I think that we are already in the map. So I, I think it's, 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 a, it's a good sweet moment for the Spanish biotech industry.
Certainly. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me and um, happy partnering, I guess. My pleasure. Thank you very much.